political situation. So the religious right can't see the merit in any position or person who doesn't take their position. If someone is not all or substantially right on their issues, in their mind they must be totally wrong. But likewise, this is just as prevalent on the left. To them, all conservative Christians are right-wing wackos who have no meritorious views. Well, if that's the kind of mentality that is happening in, the po in politics today, that is definitely the same kind of mentality that's happening in the church today. But that kind of, that idea of black and white thinking ignores the fact that God has created us all uniquely. But God has created us uniquely to bring us together. And as you look through the rest of the, the chapter 4 of Ephesians, the idea of bringing the, us together in the unity of the body of Christ, we, we all fit differently. We all have different, we're all different parts. We all have different roles. We all have different ways of going about things. But if we are showing grace towards one another, and if we are working towards the unity of Christ, and we are coming together to build one another up, and our purpose and our goal is to become like Christ. All those other meaningless issues fade away. You see, as you look at this context and you look at the body of Christ, it is not a black and white, but it's color. It's the beauty of God's design for the body of Christ. And so as you look at this passage and you can see that, the, that what we are being called to do is to walk together, the whole body of Christ, working properly together in verse 16. And for what purpose? To what end? Verse 13, to maturity. And in verse 13, to the full measure of Christ. You see, here's the big idea. Unity. What God has called us to do, to come together in unity. Unity is the result of growing less like ourselves and more like Christ. So this morning, let me close with this, the words of a song that maybe some of you know. To me, it, it's more than just a song. It's more than just words. It's a commitment. It's a, it's a prayer to God. Let me walk in your love and walk paths of right. I pray that your grace will guide my steps aright. And when I feel lonely, let me lean upon thee. Just more of you, Lord, and less of me. I will tell of your love and how your light abides. And grace that you give as you walk by my side. In my heart, I'm learning just what I can be. With more of you, Lord, and less of me. More of you, Lord, that's my desire. More of you, Lord, this you require. More of you, Lord, just let it be. More of you, Lord, and less of me. Would you bow your heads and close your eyes and join me in prayer this morning? Gracious God and Heavenly Father, God, search our hearts. God, continue to work in my heart, in my life, Help me not to label other people and get bent out of shape over meaningless things. But Lord, help me to extend grace to those that perhaps I disagree with. Help me to, to reach out and, and to encourage them and uplift them in love. Help me to be open-minded to what the way you have designed them. God, help me to speak the truth in love. Help us to confront one another, but also encourage one another, to challenge one another, but not for the purpose of bringing them in alignment with our thinking, but for the purpose of bringing us all into the likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ. God, we praise you and thank you for the opportunity we have to come together and to look at your word this morning. May you continue to encourage us and challenge us through it. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Praise God.